Hello? I got your card. It's Jack. Jack Donovan. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Ah, thank God. I thought I was going mad. And if I am mad, then it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, remains sane until the hideous end. Jonathan Blazer. And you are? Jack. Jack Donovan. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you, Jack. Now, how can I be of service? That's what I was gonna ask you. Oh my god, this card with this house's address and my name on it. Now that is interesting. I found this card in my mailbox not two days ago. Plot thickens. Maybe I can be of help, gentlemen. If you'd follow me. In front of you lies over 200 years of this building's history, dating back to the 18th century. I can assure you that everything in that document took place within these walls. We invited you both here, based purely on your reputation within this particular field. My client was very specific, that you two, and only you two, should be contacted. So, what exactly is it I can do to help? Uh, little house clearance, seance maybe, something to spook the spooks, a little John Blazer special. So you're a medium? Certainly not. I'm a psychic. Dead, I said, the best they have in this two-horse town. Look, I appreciate your client's invitation, but firstly, I work alone. And secondly, I work in the realms of the real world. Ugh. If you're looking for some kind of paranormal clown to promote this place to the tourists, then believe me, you've got the wrong man. So, I take it you're a non-believer? I believe you're full of shit. Wow. I mean, that's just unprofessional, isn't it? I make a living out of exposing frauds, and trust me when I say this, I'm the best at what I do. See, I'm sensing a little bit of hostility. It's coming from this side of the sofa. I mean, are you getting this? Is this the best you could do? Is this some kind of joke? I would appreciate it if you'd read through the files before making any rash decisions, Mr. Donovan. There is a substantial fee attached to this proposition. Exactly how much are we talking? 50,000 US dollars. I'm sorry, you, you want to pay us 50,000 US dollars? 50,000 US dollars each. Well, I mean, it's a little less than my normal fee, but I think under the circumstances we could make... This is a very serious matter, Mr. Blazer. Money is of no relevance to my client, providing you can get this unfortunate situation cleared up within the allocated time. But you still haven't told us what this is all about. And all these deaths took place in this house? That's as far back as the records go. For all we know, there could be many more. Jesus, what happened to these people? Who was the stiff? His name was Mr. Johnston. His family were the last residents to look after this property. He's not getting his deposit back. Unfortunately, previous owners would not accept the history of this house and would occasionally try to rent it out to unsuspecting tenants. As you can see, this is a huge building and requires a great deal of attention dedicated to its upkeep. What were the results of the autopsy report? Stabbings, hanging, mutilation, gunfire. The list goes on. But that's where things get a little... strange. What could be stranger than this? The Johnstons only lived in this house for a couple of days before the murders took place. They were killed by their own 13-year-old daughter, 
in what looked like an unprovoked attack. Teenagers. What happened to the daughter? She was found dead upstairs in a bedroom cupboard. Apparent suicide. Apparent suicide? She was stabbed to death. But the police could only find her fingerprints on the knife. And what makes it so strange was the fact that she died from knife wounds to her own back. She stabbed herself in the back. Eight times, to be precise. How is that even possible? That doesn't make sense. I wish I could tell you more, but that's everything I know. I have included the official police reports for you both to read over at your own convenience. The reputation of this house has grown over the years. The murders have created a legend that doesn't exactly bode well with my client's current business interests. Half up front and half when you complete the job. Well, this all sounds amazing, but what exactly is the job? Damage control. I'm guessing they want to offload this place to some poor, unsuspecting buyer. And I bet you nobody wants to touch this place with its track record. Am I right? And what better way than to get two of the very best to reassure them? You'd be very surprised how superstitious people can be. So what is it exactly that you want us to do? Three nights. You stay here for three uninterrupted nights and then report your findings back to me. And only to me. That's it? You're gonna pay us 50 grand just to have a sleepover? We will, of course, be contacting the local press to make people aware of what we are doing. Maximum exposure is crucial to making this a success for my clients. And what if we find something? Let me make this clear. Your findings will show that this residence is nothing more than an old house. You both state that your stay here was uneventful and that you found nothing strange, supernatural, or paranormal whatsoever. What's the catch? No catch. Just look at it as a paid holiday for you both. And if we refuse? Oh, of course we'll take the job. When do we start? You started already. Everything's been arranged to accommodate your stay. No offense, but conning people isn't exactly what I get paid to do. Mr. Donovan, I fully understand and appreciate your honesty. It's $50,000. But unfortunately, the offer only stands if both of you agree to participate. I knew you were gonna say that. I need your phones and your car keys if you possess them. This is a publicity stunt, gentlemen. We need it to look as genuine as possible. Chop, chop, come on. This is non-negotiable, I'm afraid. What is it? Is there porn on the phone? There's porn on the phone. I'm sensing. There we go. Excellent. I'll return your phones and your vehicles once you've completed the job. One last thing. The building will be secured for the full three days. No one will be able to get in and no one will be able to get out. If, however, either of you wish to leave before the agreed allocated time, you will both forfeit the second part of your payment. You're locking us in here? My client was very adamant about this condition. What about a change of clothes? I, I didn't bring any with me. Why three days? because that's as long as anyone's ever lasted in this house, allegedly. Trust me, I've heard it all before. Good luck, gentlemen. Have a pleasant stay at Richmond Manor. That seem weird to you? Nah. <sighs> Funny how my luck is about to chip. Where are you going? Was he serious about the clothes? I, I can't wear this for three days. Rented.
Wow. Well, that is a lot of belt. What is all this stuff? Just so we're clear, don't touch anything. You understand? Yep. Stay away from my equipment. Sure. Off limits, private property. Capiche? Absolutely. Kim Osabi, I respect you. I just, I've just never seen anything like this. Well, that's because all of this is high-tech equipment. Science base. Something I'm guessing you're not too familiar with. See, I'm sensing you have a problem with people like me. What do you mean, people like you? Oh, yeah. Psychics, mediums, the rakishly good-looking. Not really. I just have a problem with what you people do for a living. I help people. More like help yourself. Not everything can be explained with high-tech gadgets and fancy belts, Jack. What I have is a gift. A curse, depending on how you look at it. You know how many people I've met like you over the years? They're all full of the same old bullshit. Anything to make a quick buck. Oh, do enlighten me. All right. You say you can speak to the dead, see ghosts or demons or whatever crap you guys are selling these days. Well, go on. Prove it. Summon the dead right now. Make me a believer. It doesn't work like that. Of course it doesn't. There's always an excuse with you people. You see this? This is how I prove things. This is how I work. I failed to see the point. He's paying us to sit here and do nothing. You see, that's the difference between us. I'm not here for the money. If all this is bullshit, and I can guarantee you it is, I'm gonna prove it. Myself. It's going to be a long three days. Bingo. I'm sensing the booze is in. Huh. Well, I suppose we'll do. Found the food. I mean, it's not Les Al, but it'll, it'll do. High tech equipment. Oh. Note to Jack you're a dick. Having fun up there, Jack.
What do you want? I'm working here. Good. Yeah, this is some kind of joke, I swear to God. Jonathan! Whoa. What the hell, man? What do you want? Well, I found something. What did you find? Oh, no, no, no. This I have to show you. Were you in this room? No. That door's locked. I tried it earlier. Come on. the greatest thing you've ever seen. I mean, look at this stuff. Imagine the children have got to play with this. Spoiled little shits. These people must have been loaded. Great, is that it? Can I go? Clearly you have no appreciation for the art of the scaled miniature. Luckily, I think I found something a little bit more your speed. Double barrel, brescia, Italian made shotgun. Shit, this thing's loaded. Whoa, careful with that thing. Gonna hurt yourself. Go on, take my picture. John Blazer, hunter, gatherer, lover. That'll look great on my website, right next to all the other con artists. Now, what did I say about touching my equipment? Look at this. What are you, five? Look, I'm sorry about touching your stuff. That was out of line. I'm just not used to working with people. I tell you what, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'll set up in a room and I'll just try and keep out of your way. You know, if that's what you want. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. If you come to shout to me again, I'd rather you didn't. No, actually, I was thinking about apologizing. You were thinking? I haven't quite made my mind up yet. What's that for? So, you're interested in how I work all of a sudden, are you? What is it? Well, this, my friend, is sodium chloride. And you probably wouldn't understand. It's a little bit scientific. Why salt? It's for protection. Nothing bad can touch me while I'm in here. Not even you. So you think this stuff actually works? No. You know what a Ouija board is? 
Come on, everybody knows what a Ouija board is. Look, you have all your high-tech toys and gadgets. This is what I have. And to answer your next question, yes, it does work. Sometimes a little too well. Poor Mrs. Brackett. She really loved that dog. Are you sure you want to be around when I do this? No, you're not a believer. It's probably going to kick off, so... I'm curious. I want to see how you do what you do. Besides, I thought you were just on holiday. <laughs> you kidding? A house with this kind of history? We should be covered in ghosts. Well, why don't you ask them what next week's lottery numbers are? How's a ghost supposed to know what next week's lottery numbers are? Most of them don't even know they're dead. Look, are you going to let me do this thing or not? You're the expert. I'm just observing. If there is anyone present in this house, make yourselves known to me through the spirit board. Well, that's probably a good sign. What is? Trust me, silence is better when you're using this thing. Especially in a house like this. It takes a little while, okay? I'm just getting warmed up. <clears throat> By the gibbous moon and the five-pointed star, while the sky is bruised and broken, hear my voice and heed my call. Any spirits present, make yourselves known and move the pointer to yes. Like I said, it takes a little time. Same old bullshit. A your wife must have the patience of a saint. What did you say? It must be a bit of a strain to... Don't you dare talk about my wife. You don't know anything about her. Thanks, guys. You make me look a right arsehole. Or is there some other house you have to go and haunt? He made me do it. What have you done? <laughs> no!
slight drop in the temperature of the girls' room from 15 to 8 degrees. Morning. You're up early. Couldn't sleep. It's hardly surprising. Not exactly bedtime reading, is it? But what's your take on all this? I'm sure there's a rational explanation. There always is. So I'm beginning to think agreeing to stay here was a grave error. I think you not taking a change of clothes was a grave error. I know you don't want to hear this, but something happened last night. I got a message on the board. You're right. I don't want to hear it. Two nights left. Whatever this thing is, it's counting down our stay here. Wake up, Jonathan. Somebody is playing games with us. We're not alone. Last night, I saw somebody else in this house. And whoever it is, they have access to the building, somehow. Oh, that can't be good. Whoa, what did I do? Motion sensor. What? If there's anything moving around up here, I'm gonna know about it. And what if it's not a person? Have you even considered that? How much do we actually know about the man who hired us, huh? For all we know, we're just pawns in some fucked up PR stunt. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is all just a ploy to get dumb tourists to visit their newly acquired haunted house attraction. Let's face it, we're in the middle of nowhere. Those pictures look real to me. Even if they are, that doesn't explain what I saw last night. And what if it's not a PR stunt? The thing I made contact with knows we're here, and trust me, that is not a good thing. Jack. Jack, please listen to me. I think we might be in some genuine danger. Enough to forfeit your share of the money, Jonathan? No one's keeping you here. Oh, great, where am I gonna go, hmm? We're in the middle of cocking nowhere. No phones, no cars. What's going on out here? I just saw someone. What did you see? <laughs> Grab the camera!
Well, I didn't say anything about having a pool. But this is definitely better than the train. Oh. For your website. What did you see? I don't know. Don't know? Or don't want to say? It looked like a little girl. Is it this little girl? Tell me that's not what I think it is. I think it's high time we talk about what I think we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a real person, not some phantom spook. Jack, I've watched you fumble about this house for the last 36 hours with your gadgets and gizmos. Now it's high time you listen to me. Open it. What is this? Demonology. The study of ancient demons, their legend, and more importantly, how to get rid of them. So you really think a ghost left that thing in my room? Not a ghost, a demon. Ghosts are easy to move on, they're my bread and butter. But a demon, that's an entirely different beast altogether. Okay, let's just say for one minute I'm buying that crap. What's to buy, Jack? You're sitting in the middle of a house where entire generations of families have either murdered each other or committed suicide. If you're so convinced it's a demon, why can't you get rid of it? Oh, sure, yeah. Just get rid of it, hmm? It's not that simple. But you're experienced in this, aren't you? But you have this? I've never actually had to use that thing. It's mostly for show. Well, isn't that convenient? Look, this isn't my MO, okay? I'm used to moving on stubborn dead people. This is different. How? Because demons aren't human. Their sole purpose is to torment the living, to cause as much pain and suffering as possible. The truth is, nobody knows what these things are. Then how do you know that we're dealing with one? Case after case, all with classic signs of demonic possession. Parents murdered by their own daughter. You think it's a coincidence you're seeing little girls running around here? This hapless handyman came round to fix the washing machine. An hour later, he hung himself out to dry. Murder after murder. Suicide after suicide. No previous convictions and no history of mental illness. I mean, look at this. How do you shoot yourself in the back of the head with a rifle? Okay, you've made your point. Start reading this. If it is what you say it is, then we need to know how to get rid of it. But if you're wrong, and it's not a demon, we got bigger things to worry about. Could possibly be worse than this. That's what I intend to find out. <laughs> you're wasting your time. You won't find anything. Whoever it is that's messing with us must have a way in. 
a door or a basement, something we haven't seen yet. Are you gonna be okay here? Oh, I think I'll manage. If you hear or see anything, call me immediately. Hey. Careful out there. It's not good. Jonathan, where are you? What is it, Jack? What the hell are you doing up there? Been trying to get a hold of you. I found the basement. Just having a look around. There's another way in. This is probably it. Look, Jack, I need you to get back up here right now. I found something very interesting. Jonathan? Jonathan, you're breaking up. Jonathan! Jack? Jack, if you can hear me, get the hell out of the basement.
Jack? Jack, I've been trying to reach you. There's something very wrong with this place. Is that you, Sarah? Who are you? What did I tell you about being late for school? What do you want? You're not Sarah. What have you done with my Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> There. That should stop the bleeding. Thanks. But you might need stitches. What the hell happened? What did you find in the basement? It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Jack, what did you find? I found a little blood. And? Next to it, there was a... Well, that definitely wasn't here before. There's no dial tone. possible. Hello? It's your wife. What? She says she's your wife. She wants to talk to you. going on. You all right, Jack? She's been dead for five years. God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she was a psychic. I loved her more than anything, more than life itself, but I can never understand that side of her. All the Ouija boards, the totems, tarot cards. I tried.
one evening at dinner, she told me that she made contact with this evil spirit. I thought she lost her mind. I tried to reason with her, talk some sense into her, but she was convinced. It was real. She became obsessed with those boards. No matter what I did, hide them or get rid of them. Every night I'd wake up and I'd find her on them. As the weeks went on, she got worse and worse. She locked herself in her room. She stopped eating. She wouldn't talk to anybody. She was scared. She was convinced this thing was trying to kill her. One night, I came home. She was in the bath. There was blood everywhere. She slid her wrist. Before I could do anything, she, she took the knife, and she cut her throat open right, right in front of me. I couldn't save her. I tried, I tried. I should have. I couldn't live with myself. But the guilt, I took it out on everyone. Clairvoyant psychics, mediums. The more frauds I exposed, the more fueled my anger that she'd been duped or brainwashed by all that paranormal bullshit. She was right. It's real. You're up early. Couldn't sleep. You? I slept pretty good. So, what is all this stuff? What you're looking at is the history of Richmond Manor for the last 200 years. It turns out that most of our murder victims were, unbeknownst to them, related to the Richmonds. Back in 1801, there was an unprovoked massacre here. No one knows who started it but the family scattered. Since then, something's been drawing them back here, murdering them. I found something else among the lists of names. The family, the Donovan. Holy shit. Holy shit indeed, Jack. Your being here is no coincidence. What about you? See, I've been asking myself that same question. My hunch is that it feeds off psychic power somehow. Uh, myself, your wife, even our hapless friend here. 
That's the symbol I saw in the basement, next to the blood. Basement? I've been seeing it everywhere. Every time I touch the board, it's like a feedback loop in my mind. It, of course, it's a conduit. That's how it gets around. That's how it delivered the cards to us. That's how it's drawing its power. See, it's been weak so far, but now it's taking physical form. The question is, can we hurt it back? It's one way to find out. How many shells have we got? Two in the chamber, one here. Uh, let's hope it's enough. Yeah. Son of a bitch. What? Son of a bitch. Shit in my mouth. How old is this guy? Barnum. Barnum. That's one of the words I saw in the basement. Words? What words? There's some writing on the wall in Latin. It said Barnum Vindicte. Barnum Revenge. Oblitus. Forgotten. Legitimate fetus. Barnum's Richmond's bastard son. No wonder he's pissed off. What does that all mean? That means we're not getting paid. I'm serious. So am I, Jack. I've got some pretty big gambling nets. It's the dice they call to me. Jonathan, focus. Can we use it to hurt him? Oh, we've got the words, the book, the symbol. We could try a ritual. The question is where? Basement? The basement's the door he uses to leave. We need to find the door he used to come in. That could be anywhere. I think I know where. Show me. This has to be it. The readings are off the charts. Trust me, that isn't normal. I like it. We'll perform the ritual here. No matter what you hear, no matter what you see, it's imperative you stay within the salt circle until the ritual is complete. I'm ready. Well, I hope so. So what now? Now we wait. Look, this could take some time. Well, that didn't take long. What's that? Ignore it. It sounds like... Look, it's a trick. Ignore it. I have to check. Really? Hmm? What did I just say?
Jack? Jack? Jack, where the hell are you? Jesus Christ, Jack! We gotta get out of here. No, we have to complete the ritual. <sighs> oh, that doesn't sound friendly. Come on, come on! This is getting really messed up. I Look, if we don't complete that ritual, we are gonna die in this house tonight. Oh, I shouldn't look. Use God. What? Shoot her. I am not qualified. Shoot her! <laughs> Got her. It worked. Is it dead? I don't know. Can you kill something that's already dead? Oh, it smells. Stay here and watch it. I do what? If it moves, kill it again. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Fuck you. Look familiar? The falls? Huh? What are you doing? Are you serious? We gotta document this. What, have you lost your fucking mind? This changes everything. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Jack? It's a bit big. Jack, he's... Oh, he's big. It's big. It's big. It's a big, 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 big beard. Come on. What? Go upstairs, prepare the ritual, I'll take care of him.
Why don't you help me, Jack? You could have saved me from him. But you let me die. you, O spirit of hell, appear in my presence before this circle of Solomon. I am the stag of seven tides. I am the wide flood on the plain. I am the wind on the deep waters. I am a shining tear on the sun. I am a hawk on the cliff. I am fair among the flowers. I am a god who sets the world afire with smoke. Show yourself, demon. Jack, what the hell are you playing at? so much, Jack. The pain never stops. He won't let it. Oh, good of you to join us. I had some old demons to deal with. Let's finish this. I'm fine, by the way. Start reading. In these, these names that are above all others, whether constrained by chains or returned to darkness, may you never disturb this house again. 
Again, in these names that are above all others, whether constrained by chains or returned to darkness, may you never disturb this house again. In these names that are above all others, whether constrained by chains or returned to darkness, may you never disturb this house again. Dictate. Again, Ate. Banum. Whether constrained by chains or returned to darkness, may you never disturb this house again. Again. Ate. Banum. Ankuf. Silium. Dictate. Names that are above all others, whether they're constrained by chains or returned to darkness, may you never disturb this house again. Dictate. You are banished. too easy. Jack, I'm sorry. Sorry, Jack. So soon, Mr. Laser. Freak show. 